Your Excellencies, Commissioner of the Commonwealth War Graves Commission, Lieutenant General Sir William Rodo, Australia's Vice Chief of Defence Force, Vice Admiral Raymond Briggs, veterans and pioneers, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. Today marks the 75th anniversary of the fall of Singapore. We are gathered here today to remember and honour the sacrifices of the 137,000 men and women who fought to defend Singapore and Malaya during World War II. Many came from abroad, Australia, India, Nepal, the Netherlands, New Zealand, and the United Kingdom. Many were local volunteers. They came from different backgrounds and different cultures, but shared a common spirit of courage and determination. When Singapore fell, the next three and a half years became a dark period for those living under subjugation, the prisoners of war and civilians who were interned at Changi Prison, two of whom are present here today with us, Ms. Olga Henderson and Ms. Vilma Hahn. Many paid the ultimate price. We remember and honour our pioneers who endured the war and helped to build Singapore to what it is today. The war instilled in them a deep resolve to protect what they call their own. It is fitting that we're also celebrating the 50th anniversary of national service this year. This is a sacred and important duty that all Singapore sons have to carry. And we are honored today to have with us uh, Lieutenant Colonel Retired Sui Bu Chai from Singapore Armed Forces Veterans League. He was among our pioneers who helped build a strong and credible Singapore Armed Forces. Our pioneers also showed tremendous gumption and built a Singapore that is safe, secure, peaceful, and prosperous. We are honored to have Captain Ho Wing Ho with us today. Captain Ho is the last surviving pilot of the Flying Tigers, a Chinese-American volunteer bomber squadron. Born in Malaysia, he flew bombers over to Hanchong, Shanxi province in China during the war. After the war, he chose to settle in Singapore and trained a core group of pilots that went on to become Singapore Airlines. We're also here today to honor the sacrifices of all sides that fought during the war. I am heartened to know that former combatant nations have been working together to put this ceremony together. This will be the first time the former allied nations, Singapore and Japan, are working together to organize a commemorative ceremony in the spirit of reconciliation and healing. We are honored to have members of the local Japanese community <laughs> lay a wreath of sorrows or paper cranes today. Legend has it that one who unfolds a thousand paper cranes will be granted a wish. While I did not fold the paper cranes, I do have a wish. I wish for peace and that the horrors of war will never be forgotten. This is why we have our National Cadet Corps to take part in the ceremony today. Our young, like many of us, have never experienced the horrors of war, but they must never forget the lessons learned. They must never forget the sacrifices of their forefathers and emulate their deep commitment to ensure we ourselves are capable of protecting our country, our loved ones, and our way of life. This commitment to remember the horrors of war and to defend Singapore is at the core of total defense. It is when every Singaporean is resolved to play their part and contribute to keeping Singapore strong on all fronts that we, are conf that we can be confident of safeguarding our nation and our home against different threats and challenges that come our way. This is why we commemorate Total Defense Day on 15 February every year. With our friends from countries represented here today, the 75th anniversary of the fall of Singapore is a significant event in our shared history. This shared history forms a strong foundation on which we have built our relations. All of us paid the price of war and share deep resolve to never have to relive its horrors. Today, we share good and strong relations. We will continue to work closely together 
to promote peace and stability in the region.